Okay, here's a method I use to call the bottom. So this is the S&P 5, this is the SPY, and this is Roku. Roku got killed today. It's down $20. So I'm trying to figure out what the bottom is. All right, so it's coming down, it's normal trends, and when they, especially when they start coming down, they're gonna get spikes. These are all stop orders. Spike, spikes, dumps down, boom, nice spike there. And he finally starts to get some green candles. These are five minute candles. So, you know, then he starts to pull up and you're wondering, is it an actual reversal or is it gonna hit this level and just drop off more? <clears throat> One way I use to tell is, you look at the market, it also got a spike. Well, that was a different time, we'll see. So we're here at 12 noon, where's 12 noon? So the market was already running up. Right here, it was at the top, 12 noon, right here, spiked up. Same time Roku got a spike off the bottom. I don't know if that correlates or not, but I wanna see a nice spike off the bottom and a level and preferably some green candles starting. But still, you don't know if it's gonna hit this level and pull back. So. Here we go at 105 when the market dumped off. It actually started dumping off at one o'clock. Where are we at here at one o'clock? All right, so it had a few spikes down. It's pretty much flat. At one o'clock, the market starts dumping off. Roku doesn't do anything. It holds its ground. Gets a little bit of a red candle here, but still you can clearly see it's bouncing right off the 20. Boom, the market dumps here at 105. What does Roku do? Gets a, this is 105, 110, gets a spike down. There's a lag, of course, from the market to the stock. It's a spike down and shoots right back up and holds its line. When I say hold, holds its level, I'm talking about wherever the candle opens or closes, not the spikes. So at 125, right here, 120. So there's a lag the other way. When the mark, actually right here, it started here at 120. So at 120. So the market dropped, the stock didn't drop, it held its ground. The market started to recover and the stock now broke out. That's how you know if the stock is strong, if it's a true reversal. I'm not saying it won't dump back off and plummet another $5, but the odds are now this is a true reversal. So if I was day trading this, I would have taken it here and I would be ready to add on the pullback to the nine right now. I might even add it, depending on how big the breakout is. I mean, that's 60 cents. I might even add it over the top here once it broke out over this candle. Maybe or maybe not. It depends on the level here. I don't really like this, even though it shot all the way up to here, which is a good sign. Shot all the way. I skipped this mini level here. But yeah, so that's how I would tell the reversal. So again, the market is bouncing and starting to either recover or hold its ground and then the stock breaks out. That tell you that tells you this is probably a true reversal. Albeit it still has to get past here and get up to the view up and rest on top of it, but that's how I call a reversal. I always base it off the S&P.